We are in the heart of Connecticut where aviation history began. There's a lot of firsts here in the Connecticut area for aviation, and there's a lot that can be seen here at the New England Air Museum. Hi, good morning. We're the women of Pratt & Whitney, and the Women's Council is proud to support Women Take Flight. Hi, my name is Dana Willett. I'm a Master Sergeant at Westover Air Reserve Base. Hi everyone, my name is Shasta Ways. I'm here in, at the New England Air Museum getting ready to present about my around the world flight. Hi, my name is Lee Boulanger and I'm the General Manager for Bombardier Aerospace. Hi, I'm a Lieutenant Colonel Kristen Snow and this is my third year being here. I'm part of the 99s. It's an organization of women pilots. My name is Carolyn Benyage and I am here with the Society of Women Engineers and the women in aviation. So our mission is to attract and retain women in the aviation field. And so as part of that mission, we're here to support our local girls and show them that aviation can be fun. I'm a flight engineer and I've been coming to Women Take Flight for about eight years now. And we're always so happy to be at this event. And we love to meet all the children and the parents that come to inspire the kids and uh, want to see them achieve their goals and dreams and are here to support them in that. So very excited to be here today. Um, we're showing the students um, all the opportunities and the young Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts that come through, all the uh, opportunities they have in aviation. Why we're here today is just to encourage more women to join the Air National Guard or in the aviation field. Um, I would love to see more women at Bradley. So I'm not sure if you all know, but Women pilots are in minority. Out of all the pilots, only 6% are women, and that's pretty, um, pretty bad. Our mission, our 99's mission, is to introduce girls to, um, to aviation, let them learn about flying. We want to inspire them to one day maybe explore the possibility of a career in aviation. So we're a part of this STEM challenge um, run by Sikorsky and we won it last year and we hope to win it again this year. Um, it's really about like Corsairs, um, airplanes and like helicopters. So when a student builds a puzzle like this and then they try and solve a puzzle like this, they uh, work on their forward thinking and problem solving skills. Two years ago I flew a Beechcraft Bonanza around the world visiting 22 countries across five continents, traveling close to 25,000 nautical miles uh, to bring the message and the importance of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as aviation to young boys and girls all over the world. 